this lineup, but they opt to go for the Alchemist, which they did against Liquid in game one. Oh, the smoke, they found it here, Carl's Kings and Magic Missile, in comes the puck with the old Swindles, he's going to get first blood in. Boccarino, he had a great start to game one, and it looks to continue here in game two. With it, but in the first game that we saw it play, he went for the armlet and then directly into the radiance. That radiance felt a little bit more like a desperation. I need some sort of farming item, but I oh, him. Andy, they pop the face shift first here. They come with a the snowball. Raging Potato won't be able to duke this out. Complexity, they find it there. Suitably good for him. Top lane this time. Bouncy rune is going to go the way the alchemist as uh, will be sniped there by Z Freak. Yeah, I like how Complexity start putting a premium and getting those runes, but now Rage of Potatoes going to be caught out. Absolutely, they see the opening with a phase shift to use the orb already popped. Disabled in by any stretch of the imagination, and it's going to be a little bit of a misplay. He's going to be kicking himself as he needs that level 6. There's a lot rotating here onto Handscan. They should be able to find a kill him in SD. They've got four Handscan. He's looking for the plays here, but the Magic Missile to cancel it. He's going to get taken down. Hunskin's probably sitting there like, come on guys, like... Here we see Complexity, we've seen Alliance do it before. Um, they're really able to punish certain laning phase configurations. Oh, this rotation by Complexity. Uh, it's gonna be big onto Jules, he's gone. Can this Panda doesn't have a limp? It's gonna double gang forward, trying to find a Lance on to Jesse and he will. But it looks like the rest of Complexity not wanting to die too deep. Yeah. Yes. I, I actually like this. I, I'm not sure if they'd be able to get into the Roshan pit in time, nor am, uh, am I sure that's actually a fight they can win. But if they can make this surprise play, Catch up Swindles, oh, he tries to jump on Bocorino! Oh dear, the bling dagger revealed from Swindles, not how he planned it, and as you said, the punish from Ineski. One hero and then get the hell out of there. I think they, they need to avoid uh, full five versus fives like Will was talking about. Oh, we can yeah, see here. Yeah, he's, he's been spotted. Yeah, see there, he's still going to try and maybe jump in. Actually, Mineski, as you said, they got the vision, the magic missiles there. Puck jumping forward. There'll be a snowball in time from the handskin. It's only himself in a dream coach. Just getting dropped off Swindles on the sidelines. They took the last cover, but now the lasso controlling the puck. War is as well. They're finally killing Reggie Potato. But they're for Jules. Bringing Jesse low, but Jesse's going to be fine. And now chasing the rest of Mineski back to base here. They should be able to find Lord Bocorino. Falling right as Spiralos comes forward, can they get the MP? Yes they can, a second kill for Complexity. Only losing the Tusk there. And as you said, it's just they, they find the opening. You see people start to head up. Don't need to risk it at all. And Complexity, that's a good point. You might, uh, bring up the Doppelganger so effective against all those slow-moving projectiles. Now they're going to try it. Lasso with the Sun Strike. It's a lot of burst raging. Can he play his way out of this? Patient. Oh, the oh, is coming. Still taking out Lonex. Riddles blinks in with a Firefly. They'll catch him out, and at the end of the day, the Inverse Rune to the farm. Like Cap talked about, when you have a draft that features an Alchemist, it is kind of important to be ahead in net worth because this hero, it's really easy to kite him. He heavily relies on being so far ahead in net worth that you just can't really ignore him. Oh, mid lane raging, jumping in, drops the coil as well, looking for Swindles. He's got the help of Jesse Jules, the whole gang ready to go, and here's the cast. Swindles out of place and taken down. They punish it, they get themselves the kill, and don't lose anything in return. It was kind of absurd though how long it took them to kill a bat rider, just like uh, when they went on round oh, the tier two. Can they catch this out? Okay, he hasn't got up for ten. Right. It's just Hanskin though. Be out. Yeah, couldn't get himself boxed in. I think the creep went down when he tried. And now talking about teeping in. Bocarina's gonna join the cast is there, so time to start the concoction and they'll get it. They punish Hanskin. Mineski now. Opening Mineski really needed to be able to take a, a tier two of their own because their bottom lane was pushed out. Because they get that kill though, they can make this an even swap, maybe. Yeah, holding on for the stuns. So wait out the double gang. Can they get it right? Concoction is on point! Step four down, limbs gone. Damning Glass onto three now. Complexity trying to fight back in this, but Mineski still looking pretty good. They may even just turn back in. Swindles. Bouncing around them here on the cliff, looking to chase him, gets him with the lasso, brings the MP back, and Mineski says, sorry, Bolt, you've got to go. They let him die, and the rest of them are out, realizing it's not a great fight for them, and, and just making sure it's only one loss for the side. Some people, and, and it just becomes all the more necessary that Puck has a good game at that point, that he's able to find the right initiations, get the good dream coils that keeps the heroes in place for those couple extra seconds. The good news, though, is that they were able to find the Phantom Lancer, and that hero is worth a lot more as Hans can admit. Indeed, mate, they'll find it. Jules, this time, Mineski, the ones with the Invis Runa there, has just giving them that opening to get the cask out. Just that little stun, setting up for the silence from Potato. An 8 for 7, it's it's only stepping back up, and I imagine if you look at the graph, it must be starting to swing right back round for, for Mineski, and indeed it is, and as you talk with an out, I mean, we can expect to see that up, go up and up and up, and Mineski continues to find these kills, meteor drop, but he might actually survive this one, he's got Wish Dr. Zeal, he's going to be fine and out there, looking to turn it, concoction, and Kars got the Z3, but as all the dodges, do they have the damage? Yes, they do! Mineski, they find themselves another, and they'll even get some of the chain creeps here to boot.
Z Z Freak thought he was such a baller. He like rolls up with three different trolls and just chain nets the poor Furion, but it doesn't prove to be enough. Fortunately, the Bocarino chose to go for that neck build, kept him alive with the Voodoo Restoration as well. Just need to make oh, sure they defend this year too mid. Don't be caught. I was gonna say he's coming to defend, but he's on his own for the time being. Raging Potato just join in, gets the silence out by Bocarino. Lane break back, the illusion's chasing him down. There's just some going in. Oh, gets him! He's gone! And now the rest of Mineski coming through, but Complexity, how long are they gonna stick around for? Oh no. Yeah. Stable concoction sending himself. I don't think they can catch these heroes otherwise. He's looking for a potato, but he's long mana. He is moving forward on his own, and well, Dukes have the lance. Chessy now turning up. Mineski, they still want to try and look for this brother for, for the time being, at least. Ooh. And that's now they realize it's, it's not the time to fight a man down. And, and when the enemy team's retreating, you can make a play like that. You might open your team up for like a turnaround and quick pickoff, but complexity. They they knew they were fortunate enough just to be able to get the Fury on it. Oh, need to be able to call it day. Hey, they've got a concoction on the high ground. Death Lord on the low ground. Swindles is gone. Nice little play there. The Witch Doctor just forcing Swindles to force up. Dato holding on for the time being. They need to get some kind of vision for the fight around this. They'll see Limp as he comes forward with the Lance. And the tree says he's been cleared out. Fortification now with his TP. I mean this. Opening up to be a big one. Potato jumps in. Silence. Quite a lot to do. Swindles is in court out. Swindles up to the left. Can he get himself away? No, Kukocha flies through, had him gone! From Z3, there's the mech as well! Keeping Swindles alive for the time being, Snow's going to come in, but it's not going to be on point! Bocorino and Jules now the retrieve, all the clubs finishing off the Witch Doctor! It's a one for one at the moment, but maybe there's the connect by my AMP! Bocorino, bounce up, TP's away! Oh, he can't make it! The snowball comes through! The house gets silenced up! You're going to make it two for two! Raging Potato with the double kill and the rest of complexity! Still hanging around, Chessie, trying to do something! Major Magic Missile, Ben, a little bit low mana! And it looks like it will settle down for the time being. And again, these big, big fights and two city are actually going to be kind of hard pressed to, to stop that split pushing aspect. They don't really have the greatest heroes to uh, to deal with it. One of the good things, though, is their item set is actually okay for it. They've got a lot of boots to travel. Oh. And he got in a first well with the Rafi might just oh, no oh, way. Oh, oh, maybe. oh no, he can't. Great play from Mineski, Raging Potato setting up beautifully with the Invis, winning Rift into the Veil, into the Magical Burst. I mean, Invis ruins this game, they're being huge for both sides in terms of these solo pickoffs. And now they might actually get another pick on Swindles! Oh, oh wow, no! no time. Every single oh, time! He's gonna pop so hard there with the Mo, they've got him, not a chance! Off he goes, dominating streak here for the Alchemist. Champ at potential taking as well over their lineup. Oh, they and they're going to go in, yeah. outright. They're going to just walk in and try and take it, Complexity. Can they punish this? We'll see. At the moment, the Ancients and Carty coming in for the team. Look at the leader, Swindle jump. Oh, no! He's left over the loose! Now, Chessie coming in with a combo. Luke will be able to give it up. Another game of Rogue Bully. It's Radiant's kill. Aegis is too sore to go. Now, get it. Vinesky, Chessie, man, takes it to death. Four foot jewels on the high down. Pally into Lim. Lim's gone, Chessie. So, give us Sprout. Do they have the vision? Where's the vision? Oh, he's got sent back. Just in time for Mineski, they kill him, they kill Roshan, and they manage to pick up the Aegis after what seems like an eternity that's left on the floor. Is that the very first Roshan that Mineski has got I in think this it series? Is. I mean, that, that, is, that is exactly what they need. Now they're actually getting close to being able to end the game. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, bye bye Aegis, but Goodbye. that's okay. Yeah. Mineski are still... Full steam ahead, they're gonna be able to push the tier two. They're probably gonna go high ground here and just force out some damage on the tier three while the Phantom Lancer. Oh, Lancers. yo! Oh, no. 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 What a player! He had to make that save on the yeah. Batrider. Now they have actually have a chance to be able to defend their tier three and force Mineski back. Let's see what they can do, Mineski. Not ready to leave. They're still happy, standing strong, pushing forward. Ben now starting to take out. He's got that ult in the head. He's going to have the ult back up very, very shortly. They know the Batrider is coming. I am very surprised oh, that they're actually still in position. He's going to jump like in. This. this time he does get the out, but the out with the already going to be incredibly tacky. Can they burst him down? Two shots to the flame break here with the Mantis Star going to be right for the time being. Team 3, and then already oh, with the with the green card. The waiting ref got to do. The cool caution off to Swindle. Jesse, kicks one back. Magic, they're super powerful as he caught. Bouncing between them. But Greeno 
He's gonna get himself out of this one. Still pulling low. Oh, yes, he got that blue. He did. He saved him with the last one through. No hesitation, but on the back line. No raging potato, just playing with the Soka Plexi. Takes down Swindles. He's hiding in the tree line here. He's brought him out. Face shifts. Potato. He's gonna play around over here. And they've already taken the key. They're gonna punch him. Face shift again. Short headed for Chessie. So he's trying to get out of the range of potato. Gets the size of this tree. Chessie can't get the rest of his spell down. Could coach him as he evokes a bet. Move more than Debbie Wells. What about the Scoble then? Can they kill the outside of the cars? George is gonna hold him out. Magic Metal can throw it through. Can't get his gone. C3. He can't come in on his own. There's two dead on Complexity. Fortification will come out here. By Mineski. They should be able to finish this off. They'll get themselves a full set of Rackpo to the inmate. They swap and silence. They find more chances, he will be able to go walk himself out. But complexity, they can't afford to give away calls like that. Limp Waltz is in and immediately the swap is there. Complexity crumbling under that constant aggression of Maneski. They own is dealing quite a bit. And all of these long fights, that's really what's hurting complexity the most. They just can't burst them. Really how do you stop this? He just sits there. He's got so much armor. Windows is going to try and it's shaving on the Alchemist, bringing him back. Rage of Data jumps in, knows the dream card, the sun is on the three. Then, then the good question over, looking for Chessie. Chessie, he's going to be fine in for the time, but no, the stun can still came out, they'll get it. Chessie's down. 72 seconds, a little buyback straight away. Aaron with the defense, but already has to go racing. Talk about the main slip. Two or five more green, over the Chessie match. He can't get him, double kill from that as they take down Tom. Tom's going to buy back available on him. Dropping over the radius, burns to come out. Bocorino, still alive, swap back. Bocorino's going to be saved. Manny just to walk it off here on the nature profit. And again, complexity just can't stop the alchemist. They can't, they can't do anything about him. And again, concoction catches two. Raging gets in with a silence to the court out. Chessie and Z3 being forced back. Swindles on the sideline. He's looking to see if he can do anything. But there's no last at the moment. And just the illusions forcing back complexity into their fountain. It's a second set of racks from an SK and Raging Potato. He's ready to play. He's just waltzing around in front of the fountain. Orbs away. Then. Can he try and punish this one? We'll get the lance out, cross up as well, raging. As the yours. And with a phase shift, can he play around them for a little bit? All right. Goodbye, complexity. Oh, hello. We're here for that too. But now he's he's not going. He's out. He's out. He's out. Eventually, eventually, yeah. some cooldowns are gonna come into play. Of course. The invoker needs space to be able to do anything, but it's gonna be such a talk. A tough task to follow up with. Swindles has to find pickoffs right now, and it looks like he will be able to get one in Bocarino. I see. Uh, with Hanscan coming in as well, is there any way they can play his way out of this? He has got a mech. No TP though. And uh, indeed, it will be a slow, painful death here for the Nature's Prophet. Yeah, but look at bottom. Ben Hur, he knows there's two heroes in the top lane. He's got three behind him. He knows he's going to assault this tier three. And the Limp trying to go for the back line. He's trying to find Jules here. Jimmy's straight off the Witch Doctor. At the same time, Chessie has been starting to start. There's the call again. That's been broken down. No buyback. Jules will be punished by Limp. But now Limp, the one in trouble. Ben forcing him back in with a radius burn. Limp jumps into the sideline, but punch there. Magic missile. Wicked sick for your alchemist. Buyback straight away from Limb, but they've got to defend it without the Invoker. Yes, Maneski are two heroes down, but Ben still there, the powerhouse on the Alchemist. I mean, this man chasing down Z3 with a stun lift, finds just a there with a help of Hanscom. But the Alchemist walks in around the base, kills the Chen. They'll cut, if they can kill this out, it's a lot of money, but there's Raging Potato and with the double kill, silence on to two, Swindle forced back to the fountain. They just can't deal with it. this Puck Alchemist combo. Every single fight, they jump in, they get the control. Out walks in, mega creeps for Maneski, 33 minutes in. I, I really don't know how you defend against this one after complexity. Uh, Maneski, you're just going to continually assaulting your base. I can't oh believe my they goodness. did this in game two. Absolutely incredible stuff. Oh, hey, look at the turnaround. They'll get him in. Ben. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now he's turning it! They're coming in with a puck, looking for the plate. Oh, no, raging potato! Oh, Stalin, as you said, all over them. The engine falls in GG, one play for the MG! Taking it to a game three! After what looked to be a weak showing in the mid game of game one, Maneski shows they can stand up to a level here on this international playing field. And take a game of